Welcome to the Security Speakeasy Show, where we talk about all things cybersecurity. I am Minakshi Sago from the marketing team at Palo Alto Networks, with the vision to ensure that each day is safer and secure more than before. So with that in mind, let's talk about IoT security. Joining me is Dr. Mei Wang, co-founder of formerly uh, Zingbox, which is now IoT security product of Palo Alto Networks. So hello, Dr. Wang, welcome to the show. So today we want to know more about the person with a vision of securing the internet of things properly called IoTs. So also we want to know about your thoughts on changing IoT landscape and its implications for organization in this global pandemic times. So uh, let's dig deeper into the questions. So my first question is, can you brief, briefly describe for our audience, you know, um, how you got into the career of cybersecurity? Yeah, sure. Actually, I do see cybersecurity today is, has a much broader meaning, very different from many years ago when we were just talking about crypto cryptography or just firewall itself. But now actually today, cybersecurity consists very broad meaning. For example, one important thing, as our CEO Nikesh put it, to analyze data in and out of network. And actually for myself, I majored in physics for my undergrad and uh, did my graduate school work in electrical engineering. Actually for my PhD dissertation, I looked into real time data Larger, huge amount of traffic data and look into patterns. And that really fascinated me. And by looking into these, analyzing these data, looking into patterns that we can find abnormal behaviors, we can find abnormal patterns. And that's actually becomes very important part of today's cybersecurity. So moving forward, we think it needs a new mindset to look at cybersecurity and look look at how we address cybersecurity challenges, which involves a lot with uh, analyzing the data in and out of our network. This is very impressive, uh, Dr. Wang. So I have another question for you. So what made you start your firm around securing IoTs of the world, especially for healthcare industry? Yeah, back seven years ago, uh, I co-founded Zingbox together with my two partners, Xu and Jianlin, as well as the amazing founding team consists of PhDs from Stanford, MIT, and Berkeley. And given our background from data analytics, networking, and security, we, at that time, we had already seen the surge of IoT deployment, but we, and we could foresee that IoT security would be a big challenge as more and more devices are connected onto the network. But at that time, we didn't see any ready to deploy IoT security solution. So we decided to tackle this big challenge, upcoming big challenge. And we were incubated out of Stanford incubator Star X, and we were fortunately supported by several influential angel investors. And we spent two years did in-depth research and analysis on IoT devices, the data these devices generated, the new challenges IoT is bringing to security. And we came up with the first machine learning based cloud IoT security solution in industry. And when we're looking into which vertical to first deploy the solution, even though our solution was designed industry agnostic, when we, and we tried it in multiple verticals and we saw the most urgent need from healthcare. It is because there's so many new devices, including medical devices are connected onto the hospital network. And the vulnerability of these devices can be very critical to patient's care. For example, in our research lab, we can demonstrate that we can change the medication dosage, the infusion pump put into a patient body. And that can mean life or death. So that's why we pick healthcare as the first vertical 
we did the deployment. Oh, quite insightful. Um, you know, I've been fairly new to Palo Alto Networks, and I, I feel honored to be working with the IoT security team at Palo Alto Networks. This is fantastic. So um, how has your journey been so far at Palo Alto Networks? By the way, mine has been awesome. I just want to know your thoughts. Yeah, it's a it's an amazing integration with the Palo Alto Networks. We consider this is a really perfect marriage between Zingbox and Palo Alto Networks because after we have been with Palo Alto Networks for a year and a half, and we have been working really hard to integrate Zingbox secure, IoT security solution together with Palo Alto's existing market-leading firewall security solution. And uh, the customers just love the integrated solutions. Not only we can leverage other security services Palo Alto is already offering, and we can, but also customers can leverage the existing infrastructure they already have in place just to uh, uh, subscribe to the, this IoT new subscription on top of the firewall infrastructure they already had. So this is, it has been working really well and we uh, are serving a lot more customers ever since we have been integrated with uh, Palo Alto Networks. Great. Um, you know, this pandemic has affected all aspects of our lives. You know, some of my family members have been affected back in India and I'm sure, um, I hope not, you know, I hope everyone is safe and sound out there. But have you seen the COVID-19 effect on IoT adoption and the security strategy for these devices? Yes, absolutely. I think COVID changed the way we work and live around the world. And because of COVID, as we all know, most of us have to work remotely, have to work from home. And so now the enterprise is extended to our home and so many devices are connected onto our enterprise network. So that dramatically increased the attack surface. So ever since COVID-19, we're seeing increasing demand for IoT security because now your home devices can be part of your enterprise network and uh, any vulnerable device on the network can bring in malware, ransomware, and can trigger peer-to-peer -peer lateral movement onto other devices on your network. So with this increasing amount of surface, uh, attack surface, now IoT security becomes even more important and strategic. We see increasing amount of customers or potential customers coming to us asking for a effective IoT security solution to help them protect their devices, protect their data, pre protect their preparatory information. Great. So let's get to know you a little bit more with a fun question. So if someone wrote a biography about you, what do you think the title would be? And it has to be a fun title, I hope. <laughs> I think probably I would call it make the impossible possible. Because when you, we, we consider our mission is to protect billions of devices out there in the world. And now we're seeing increasing amount of IoT devices getting onto the network. Actually, for the uh, 2020 IoT Threat Report uh, Palo Alto Networks published, we, have, we can identify there about 30% of devices we're seeing are IoT devices. And we're seeing increasing amount of IoT devices. We do foresee in the near future, the number of IoT devices is going to surpass the number of IT devices. So while we're enjoying this efficiency and convenience all these IoT devices bring to us, there are also new security challenges. It seems almost impossible to protect this huge amount of IoT devices and the diverse devices around the world. How are we going to do that? It seems an impossible task, but from our past several years research and development, we do think we can address this 
challenge very effectively so that people can enjoy IoT devices with the peace of mind that these devices are secure for them. So again, uh, Dr. Wang, this is very insightful. Uh, you know, it gives us insight into your the title of your biography and your thoughts have been fantastic. Um, you know, just to reiterate, you know, we, I read personally this unit 42 IoT threat report from 2020 and we found that 20, sorry, 30% of all enterprise devices were IoT. And I'm very excited and curious to see what the number would be in our next year or 2021 report. So me again, thank Thank you for sharing your thoughts and observations. And uh, if you like the show, uh, subscribe the button, uh, leave a comment and visit paloaltonetworks.com.